So a good friend of mine once told me, you can't be successful at everything. So if you have a great career, you're really good with finances, your relationships probably suck. Or if you are good in your love life and you have a great marriage, then probably some other area of your life sucks. Which kind of seems that way, but it's not. I don't believe it. I do think that we cause ourselves to have issues. I do believe that we have a, a purpose in life, that we're here, that we have a very special reason for being here and that we all have something very important to give, whether it's to be out front, to be a leader or to be behind the scenes. I, I feel like we have something very special to give the world. And when we find that and we do that, it's really something that we love to do and that we are appreciated for and that we should be allowing ourselves to have financial abundance. But I also think that we choose to have certain issues. I say choose if you believe in past lives. I think that we come here with uh, certain things that we're going to work on and that we're here to learn. And whether you spend five minutes working on that or 20 years working on that, um, and that's sometimes the issue as to why we feel like we're not allowed to have everything. But I think we are. And I think we, we feel like that we're missing in some area of our life. We feel like we're not good enough in some area of our life. Or we hide things about ourselves that we don't like. I think most people don't like certain things about themselves. And some of you know me from my spiritual work. So some of you know that I've done a lot of workshops and written books on intuition and motivation and manifesting abundance, but also like natural healing, new age stuff. Well, I actually have a bit of a controversial past. And I recently came out with my entire story and I wrote a book called Running With Wolves. And I came to Hollywood when I was about 19 and I was a B-movie actress, did lots of cheesy B-movies, shower scenes and stuff on, on things like HBO. And um, I also had a business on the side, which was a, a photography business selling photos to magazines like Penthouse, High Society Club. And it was a very successful nudie photo business. And I had that business at the launch of the internet. And then I quit that business and decided that I wanted to go on this uh, spiritual journey. I had kind of a spiritual epiphany. And I started traveling the world and going to places and experience things and looking for enlightenment. And I ended up you know, speaking and doing workshops and writing books. But I never really told anybody about my past. I just you know, started on this new path. And then I start telling people that they need to love all parts of themselves, the things that they're hiding. And I realized that, well, I'm kind of hiding a side of me. And there are things that I don't like about myself and I'm not really being authentic. And that's why I chose to write my story. And I feel that it's in these things that we actually learn the most. It's in our difficulties and our failures and the things that we don't like about ourselves that we learn the most about ourselves. And anybody can start new, anybody can start fresh. Even if there's something you feel like, you know, you really didn't like what you did, anybody can start again. And we learn from our experiences and it's important to love all aspects of yourself because they're part of you. And it's in looking at these things that we can learn to love all sides of ourselves and embrace all sides of ourselves. And I do believe that we're all here to have a fantastic, happy life and that we can be successful in business. I think that you can be, you can have finances, you can have abundance, you can have a successful business and still be a spiritual person. And it's about also giving back and saying, how am I helping people? What am I doing to also serve people? And am I giving of my time and my energy or the things that I'm good at? Am I really helping people? Because if, if you're not doing that, you're not really fulfilling. 
You know, it can, you can be successful at business, but not really happy with what you're doing. And that's one of the secrets to being really happy and really having that, that joyful, fulfilled life is that feeling of giving back. And if you are spiritual, this, this misconception of, oh, well, if you're spiritual, you've got to be a monk sitting on a mountain meditating and you can't have money and you can't have things. And I don't believe that's true. I believe that you can have both and that we're supposed to have both and we're supposed to have finances and experiences with that money and to be able to have things that bring us joy in life. And I think that success is about the whole picture. It's about loving yourself and it's having not only financial and business and career success, but love life and family life and success in all areas of your life.